morning, friends. I hope you all are doing great. It's me, Nikki here, and I'm going to share with you today my tips on how to organize your business files. And thanks to my sponsors of this video, Epson, because they have the secret weapon that we need, and it is their rapid receipt scanner. It is a wireless scanner that it just, it's amazing because what it does is it will scan not only your receipts, but all of your documents from your invoices and all of those documents that you need to get from paper copies to digital copies, and it does it like it's nothing. So let's jump right in. Okay, friends, let's jump into the first tip, which I feel like is one of the most important tips, and that is to keep your files to just what you need, whether it's hard copy file, digital file, or both. And this is my hard copy business files, and I like to keep only those things that are essential for me to keep on files, such as my incorporation paperwork, business license, insurance um, you know, documents. Those I like to keep hard copy files. Anything that has those seals on it or anything that is certified, I like having my hard copy file. Taxes, I like having a hard copy of my taxes up to a certain amount of years. And so I do keep binders for my different categories because it's very efficient for me. If I need to take it on the go, I can, but I don't keep those things that just don't make sense to keep like electric bills and things like that, things that I'll never look at. Friends, my next tip is to keep your home files separate from your business files. This is so essential because when you intermingle your files between home and work, that is a lot of confusion, which brings on the stress and you can have a receipt and you need to know whether it's business or home and you don't know if everything is mingled together. The third tip is to definitely have a digital copy of your file, have a system digitally. And I find that with a lot of clients, the hesitation with digital organization with their files is how can I make it happen? I have all this paper clutter here, all this paper. How am I going to get it from paper to my computer? And it feels like an overwhelming process. But the Epson Rapid Receipt Scanner, it is just so amazing, friends, truly, because it is really efficient. You can put your receipts with your eight and a half by 11 paper, your eight size, uh, five size paper, all in one swoop and scan it right all all there together and what it will do is it will take it in and take it wherever you want it to go whether you want it to go to your computer or you want it to go to Dropbox or you want to email it you can do send it anywhere you want to send it the wonderful thing about it also is it integrates with your popular financial applications such as that Excel TurboTax QuickBooks which for a business owner you know is key and so they did a great job of making this a very simplified way of kind of maintaining those digital files and friends, let's not talk about receipt clutter. That is something that I see that is huge. And especially in your business, if you work with a lot of different clients and you have to keep receipts for certain clients, this can be so efficient with keeping that in order so easily, fast and simple. But friends, one thing that really is my selling point with it is that look at it on my desk in the minimal amount of space it takes up, but it is literally, it literally can replace a big file cabinet. It really just is that efficient tool when you come in and sit down and you've come off that project and you have all these receipts, you can throw it in there, zoom it in and send it right to that client's file and you're good to go. Or you have those contracts, you can scan it in and have it sent to the contract file and you're good to go. This is just so efficient. Okay, friends, in my next tip, I want to share with you a simple way to save your digital files to cut down on chaos. And I want you to think about a grocery store. When you go in a grocery store, they create categories. They have aisles for different food items so that you can easily get to what you need. And that's the same on your computer. If you just randomly save everything on your computer, it's going to be chaos. It's going to be stressful trying to find things. The same as if in a grocery store. If you go in a grocery store and they just put things on the shelves in no category, you will be there all day. And that is no fun. And so when you're creating folders, on your computer create that main category and so that's that aisle in the grocery store so contracts let's pretend like that is the kind of fruit and vegetable area in the grocery store that's your contracts folder and then when you go in that section when you go in the fruit and vegetable section in that contract section you have different categories within that section and those are the sub files so don't be afraid to have subfolders that is totally a beautiful thing and so when you go to your subfolders you're still in 
the grocery store in the fruits and vegetables section under contracts, but then you've dwindled down and now you have other little sections under that. And that's where you have the different contracts. That's where, and we're, we're focused on contracts, but this could be anything. This could be your client files. This could be anything. So you have different files, but whatever the name of that folder is, you have your subfolders within it that then breaks it down a little more. So I have my brand contracts and then I have my client contracts and I have my employee contracts. But the brand contracts, let's pretend like that's the avocado in the section. So we're in the grocery store, it's the avocado. So when I click on the avocado, this is where all of my brand contracts are when I'm working with brands. And of course, you know, I'm working with my sponsors of this video, Epson. And so I have their folder here. But I may have several Epson contracts over the year. And so that means several different avocados. When you go to the avocado section, there's the Haas avocado, there's the Gwen avocado, there's the Reed avocado, there's different variations of the avocado, just like I have different contracts when I'm working with Epson. So when I get to this point, it's important for me to categorize those items, the actual document, not the folder, the actual document with dates. That makes it easy because I know that my current contract, I signed it on 2122. If I need to go back to it, it's right there. But say I work with them next month, I will then save it in the same category right here, right next to this one here. But it would say Epson 2022 3. 01 or 331 whenever I sign that contract that way when I want to go back to it's easy that way when I want to search it I can go to my computer and in the search just put that name and date because I have that routine way of saving my documents so that I can just put it in the search and easy and then what's even easier is just scanning any document and getting it into that digital folder thanks to the Epson rapid receipt scanner. So really it can become a really doable process. And friends, if you struggle with saving digital files on your computer in an organized way, I hope that this could be a relatable and helpful tool or way to do it. And you can always go back and rewatch this part and do it as you go. So that's why I love having it in video form for you. And I hope you can really, really find this helpful. So friends, I hope you have found my tips helpful today. I also want to encourage you to check out that Epson rapid receipt scanner. You won't be disappointed. I'll put the link in the description box below. Have a beautiful day, my friends. I will see you at the next video. And this is Nikki saying goodbye.